Hungarian folk tales. Bees on the train. Once upon a time, there was a large farm. And on that farm lived a man who had relatives from another village who came to visit him one day. They did not want to arrive empty-handed, so they brought him a gift of honey. The honey was quickly eaten with big chunks of fresh bread and was soon all gone. But while they sat eating, they discussed what a fine thing it was to keep bees and how simple it was with such rich rewards. The man could hardly wait for the next farm gathering where he suggested they should buy bees to make honey. The head farmer agreed and asked if there was anyone willing to work with bees. A man stood up and said he knew all there was to know about bees. He also told them that he knew where to buy bees if that was what they wanted, and everyone cheered with joy. They worked out how much money to give the man, and he set off to buy bees for the farm. He bought as many hives as he could put on a train. Then he had the whole car covered in red cloth and had red clothes and a red hat made to wear. He soon made friends with the bees and spoke to them. He opened the door and the bees came and went as they pleased. When they were halfway back to the farm, the train drove into a side track and the engine left. So the man asked the station master, why has the engine gone? Because, the station master said, it was ordered to leave. How long will the train be in the station? Who am I to know that? Don't talk to me like that kind, sir because if I know that the train will be staying here for a whole day long, then I will let my bees out so they can have some air and food. The train will remain for at least three days more, the station master told him. The beekeeper went out and opened up the hives. Come out, come out, children, and have some air. Find food for yourselves and return to your hives in time for the sunset. The bees had barely left when suddenly the station master had an order to start the train again. The beekeeper saw from the top of the carriage that the engine was coming and the train was hooked up. And they sat waiting for the station master's signal to start. The beekeeper ran to complain. What is all of this? You never told me about this station master, but I received an order to start the train. But that's impossible. My bees are still in the field. They cost a fortune. What am I to do with your bees? The station master replied. I am a station master and not a beekeeper. Well, at least leave the carriage with the bees here in the station so it can be coupled up with another train tomorrow. That's impossible. And with these words, he started the train, which left the station with the bees' carriage. The beekeeper also left in his red clothes. While most of the bees were busy gathering honey, they sent a small party back to see if all was safe with their carriage in the station. Well, when they arrived, they saw that the train had taken their hives away. They returned to the meadow and told the others that their carriage had vanished. So all of the bees flew back to the station, and when they arrived, they found people waiting for a passenger train. Well, the bees thought that these people had stolen their hives, and so they stung them and stung them. The people cried out for help. The station master heard their calls, so he rushed out of his office and he too was attacked by the angry swarm. His wife heard his cries and opened the window to see what was wrong. And as she opened the window, the bees rushed in and stung her so badly that she cried louder than all the rest. The station master heard this and he ran upstairs to find out what had happened to his wife. And then he saw that the whole room was filled with bees. The two of them had to hide under a blanket to save their skins, but both were badly stung and their faces sadly swollen. The people waiting for the train all ran back to their homes, but the swarm of bees flew after them. The other villagers heard their shouts and ran out into the street. Help! The village is being attacked by bees! And they rang the big bell. 
the station master eventually came to his senses and he called for the train to be sent back to the station and it soon reappeared on the platform. The beekeeper, still dressed all in red, climbed on top of the carriage and started to call the bees back. Come on, children, your hives are here. The bees, hearing their master's voice, gathered together and flew back in an orderly fashion. Those that had survived the bloody battle made their way quietly back into their hives. Then the beekeeper went to see the station master, but he could hardly recognize him. You deserved whatever happened because you spoke to me so rudely. But the beekeeper eventually forgave the station master and the beekeeper went back to the farm and laughed when he recalled what had happened that day. The bees soon started to make honey on the farm and made more money than all the farmers and animals put together. From then on, life on the farm was sweet. Thank mm -hmm. you.